Are you tired of seeing the same old generic group shots with family and friends on social media? What if I told you that with a sprinkle of magic, we could turn them into something unforgettable? In one of my recent videos, I showed you guys how to create stunning AI portraits by swapping an image of your face onto an AI generated image. Well, now I'm gonna show you guys how to swap multiple faces onto an AI generated image, which will leave you with some fun and amazing group portraits to share amongst your family and friends. All right, first things first, the guy in these images is not my boyfriend. He's one of my best mates and he let me use his face to demonstrate how to do this. Shout out to Wade. Secondly, it's come to my attention that a few of you guys are having a sook if I don't tell you that the methods are not free at the start of the video. Look guys, I can tell you right now, any AI tool that's for free most likely will lack quality or it will only be free for a limited time. So with that being said, what I'm about to show you guys is definitely not free and you need to pay for three things to be able to do that. A mid-journey subscription, an insight face swap subscription, and a chat GPT subscription. Now the last one is optional, but I can assure you it's very necessary, especially if you want everything automated. Now, if you don't have these already and you don't know how to set them up, go watch this video, which will be a step-by-step -step guide on how to set everything up. The only thing that the video doesn't show you how to do is to upgrade your insight face swap subscription to the pro membership, this will allow you to morph up to four faces at a time. After you do that, you also need to join the Pixie AI membership server in the settings tab. The link for that will also be in the description. If you still can't figure it out, that's okay. Join my Discord guys. If I'm on there and I have a moment, I'll be sure to help you guys. So let's get started. First up, we need a clear selfie photo of each subject that you want to be in the image. So we wanna go forward slash and we wanna click save ID. And that's where we wanna click on this and drag the photo of the first image. The first one I'm gonna upload is the photo of my friend Wade, and I'm just gonna name it Wade. And press enter, and there you go. The first ID name Wade has been created. Now we just need to do the same thing for ourselves. Let's go to the picture of me, which I have over here. It's just a selfie photo of me smiling. There we go. I'm just gonna call that me and press enter. So now we have our subject saved with their own specific saved ID. Let's head on over to ChatGPT now where I've created AI Portrait Generator, which will assist you in automating the prompts. All right, so let's grab the images. The first one I'll do will be of me. So let's go and grab that image. Then we wanna grab the image of my friend Wade. Here it is. Okay, cool. So both images are now been uploaded. After that, I want you guys to enter this prompt, which will be in the description. I also added some additional information here, which talks about my age and my background. Let's press enter. So now the GPT has analyzed both of the subjects and provided a descriptive analysis for both of them. Let's now enter this prompt, which will use the information from the descriptive analysis to provide you prompts for mid journey. So now it's provided me five separate prompts for different scenes that I can enter into mid journey. The only issue, and if you refer to number two here, both handsome men, so it's referring to this prompt here, but what the issue is, is that mid journey is not gonna remember the first prompt. So this is an issue with ChatGPT. If you see that it's doing this, I just want you guys to enter this prompt. Please provide one prompt at a time. Okay, we got our first prompt, okay? So we're gonna come back to this in just a moment. Let's go back to Discord. Before we enter the prompt into Mid Journey, we need to set the ID, which essentially means which IDs that we've created do we want to be included into the images. So we wanna go forward slash, and we wanna go here where it says set ID. Now the ID that I set for myself was called me. You wanna press comma, you don't have to press space. And the other one was Wade and we wanna press enter. So now it says current ID name updated. One thing to note that the first ID that you enter will be the first face from the image from the left-hand side. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean in just a second. Let's get the prompt now. All right, so let's grab the prompt that we created in ChatGPT and go back here. We wanna to go to imagine, we wanna paste it, uh, good thing is it's already doing the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. If you don't like that, you can change it. Let's press enter. Okay, so it's generated four images here now for me. And you can see what it's done. It's trying to generate an image of someone that looks like me, but also someone that looks like Wade. 
Now, I wasn't really happy with the images that were generated. And if you're not happy with them, all you need to do is just press this button and it will actually generate four more images for you guys. All right, so I'm going to pick this top left one here just so that I can show you guys how it works. OK, so we want to upscale the top left one. All right, now that's upscaled. Now we want to go over here and we want to click apps and we want to click in swapper. All right, so there you go. Now what it's done, it's swapped my face from the left and then it's swapped Wade's face from the right. And you remember guys, when we were setting the ID, we did me comma Wade. If we wanted Wade to be on the left hand side, we would have done Wade comma me. So that's essentially how it works. So I just wanted to show you guys how it worked, but now I wanna show you guys how to get better results. We're gonna go back now to ChatGPT, and this is the opportunity where you can provide feedback and instructions so that it can give you a more accurate prompt. So I just wrote, let's do a different scene, make them look stylish, handsome, and rich. All right, so it's provided another prompt. I'm liking what it's saying already, In interior of a luxury penthouse. All right, let's go back and see how this one turns out. So you wanna do the same thing, Imagine, enter, paste. So here are the four images that it's generated now. And I love that ChatGPT has provided the prompt that's changed the scene. The people look different. They've got nice suits on, they're in a penthouse. I'm not gonna upscale and swap the images of any of these photos because I wanna get a better result from ChatGPT. This will be your opportunity to increase your AI skill level by understanding how Midjourney and ChatGPT communicate with each other. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and forth with ChatGPT, asking it for more prompt, giving it more instructions, more feedback, getting those prompts, going into Midjourney, entering them, seeing the results. And I'm gonna come back to you guys and I'm gonna show you guys the best results that I've gathered. All right, I'm back guys. I was gone for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. These are the results that I've gotten so far. So the first one is me and Wade dressed up as uh, Arab Muslims in the desert. I really like how it came out. It's kind of cool. I also gave it instructions to add some tattoos. Here's another result. We're in some sort of art gallery and we look very stylish. I kind of like how my beard looks, how my hair looks. Wade looks pretty cool as well. Here's another one of us driving next to the ocean in some sort of luxury supercar. We're suited up, we look nice. It looks like we're going to a wedding or something. Here's another one of us driving through the Sydney streets in some sort of Ferrari. You got the Harbour Bridge there. I was very happy with this one. This one was very nice. Here's another angle of us driving in Sydney again. I like this one. The result for Wade on the right there was really, really good. This one's kind of cool as well. We're on some yacht and we got Dubai in the background and we're all suited up very very nice here's another one of us walking out of a helicopter all suited up this one looks kind of cool this one's actually my favorite we're on some sort of rooftop bar suited up it's such a nice night and we look great in this image here's another one of us on some sort of pool rooftop bar and we're i put some tattoos on our chest as well Beards there, hairs there. I really like this one, it's kind of cool. Then I wanted to go a little bit ridiculous. I'm like, all right, put us in space. So here, here we are in the year 3000, flying some sort of spaceship, and I'm assuming that's Earth in the background. Here's the last one. We're at some sort of Met Gala, but you know, also a nice result. And like you can see, we're suited up. We look handsome. I love this one. So that was 11 different images that I showed you guys. It took me about 30 minutes to an hour to get those results. I want you all to go give this a try. Don't be shy. Jump into my Discord. Show me your results. Or reach out to me on Twitter, guys. I want to see the results you guys get. I hope this video helped you guys. I want to thank everyone for watching and sharing and liking all of my content. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.